Hey boys and possible girls, I wanted to thank you for the 450 subscribers. But before we get into the video, we need to celebrate, of course. <coughs> Table flip! In today's video, we are gonna talk about suspensions. No, God, please, no! Yes, again. So before you guys actually start spamming your keyboards and saying in the chat, Oh, Banner's making a suspension video again. Just hear me out, guys, before you start running me down in the comments section. Right here, we have two suspension systems in place. The famous double wishbone suspension everybody likes so much. And the solid axle suspension that I usually rock on my vehicles. So first, we're going to test out the double wishbone suspension. See how that one does on an off-road terrain. Then go for this one. And uh, we'll do a pros and cons afterwards. So let's get into it. First up, the double wishbone suspension. And I was mistaken in the last video I did about my suspension system. This one is the independent suspension system and that one is a solid axle suspension. So my bad guys for mistaking that one. But yeah, let's see how this actually handles. Uh, the only reason why I'm not a big fan about the double wishbone suspension is the cost it takes you to craft it. And it's a little bit complex and if you have a lot of vehicles created with the complexity that this double wishbone suspension has, uh, it starts to lag if you get a lot of vehicles using this uh, suspension setup. But yeah, it drives like I thought it would. It drives pretty well on rough terrain. It's a little bit more bouncy, I think, than the actual uh, the solid axle suspension. Uh, the only thing I don't like, if it sags and it's on its lowest point, it kind of sticks there a little bit like that. But uh, maybe that's due to the nature of... Uh, independent suspension systems in general oh we bottomed out here but i guess this is just the design of the vehicle itself not the suspension system but yeah look at this all right this is gonna be the finish line let's see how it handles here all right and now let's go check out the solid axle suspension we are now going to try out the solid axle suspension vehicle. It should have similar settings as the, uh, the double wishbone suspension vehicle. Same engine speed, uh, same weight, same body type. And also I tried to get the same suspension softness as the other one. But as you can see, this actually works a little bit better for off-road as you just saw there. The body tilts more along with the suspension system itself and the terrain. But yeah, I kind of like this type of suspension for more of the off-road uh, things you need to do. Like for example, if you have a miner uh, and you put it on an electric engine, which is, which is a very stable vehicle uh, engine speed, uh, it really works very well with the suspension, especially when you need to go to those really uh, rocky formations. As you can see here, this is a, again a perfect example. And here is another bumpy road. Let's see how this handles. We might bottom out here as well. Just not bottoming out, so that's good. Just keep in mind, these are not terrains you will face in survival, but this is actually worst case scenario. So we will do a normal world after this one. As you can see, it behaves a little bit different, but still, I prefer this type of suspension for off-roading. But uh, I might prefer this one for just traveling uh, in general. So let's get to another map and I will be our bees once we get there. We have both the double wishbone and solid axle suspension buggies ready to test out uh, how they fare. So I'm just going to drive into a straight line to the end of the map and see how long it takes for my vehicle to turn from its destination. So I'm just going to push forward. That's all I'm going to do. And let's see how well this vehicle stays on its path. As you can see, I think this engine is a little bit slower. But uh, the suspension is actually working pretty well to keep the vehicle as balanced as possible. Just keep in mind, this is still scrap mechanic, boys and possible girls. This is still scrap mechanic. As you can see, we are uh, getting into a little hill here. Oh no, it flips. Oh, and this is where this car stops. Let's do the same thing here and see how this one handles. All the settings should be the same. As you can see, it also 
just turns a little bit from side to side i'm not pushing any buttons just forward and as you can see the car is already turning its destination uh apart from the actual double wishbone suspension stayed a little bit straighter as you can see if it gets a bump here and there uh, and the bump really throws off the car uh but yeah just like that you can see the double wishbone suspension actually went uh straighter than this one so i will give the double wishbone suspension a win here because we had the unfortunate accident of the double wishbone suspension car actually hitting this cliff side here all right we got the buggies back in place and let's actually crank up the engine by three so both by three that should be plenty i know some people like to turn it all the way up but then it's unrealistically fast so let's do the double wishbone suspension car first again and let's see how it handles as you can see the actual speed makes it a lot less unstable it just goes yeah let's <laughs> whoa parkour parkour the, it's safe to say the higher the speed the less unstable your car is so you actually need to find a balance on each car in scrap mechanic uh, to see what speed is best for your type of vehicle all right and now for the solid axle suspension buggy let's see how far this one can go okay so this one I it kind of surprises me okay so oh no it's going back I'm not turning any buttons it's time boys and possible girls for the pros and cons of this video starting off with the solid axle suspension buggy the pros of this vehicle is it's good for off-roading better in my opinion than the double wishbone suspension it's a lot cheaper to make so you can make it early on it lags less than the double wishbone suspension if you create more vehicles or have other structures that are lag intensive Moving on to the cons of this suspension system, uh, it's a little bit bouncy once you want to try and go fast. Uh, it's not that good of a suspension for actually traveling fast, so for a scouting vehicle I would recommend a different suspension, maybe the double wishbone suspension if you do have the mats for it. Uh, other than that, I don't think there's any downsides of this one. Let's get to the pros and cons of the double wishbone suspension system. So last but not least, the famous double wishbone suspension. Everybody likes so much, but I can understand why, because aesthetically, it's, it looks very sick. It looks badass, uh, and for that, that is a pro on itself. Uh, another pro is it's better for having uh, on a scouting vehicle to travel along outside the roads to go a little bit faster than the solid axle suspension system but this one is also very good for off-roading but a little bit uh, slightly less than the uh, solid axle suspension so those are the pros the cons is uh, it creates a little bit of lag if you rock more than one vehicle that uses this suspension setup it will lag and lag and lag uh, the more you make so and then you have the cost to take in consideration so these take a lot of metal a lot of bearings to pull off and also you cannot make one mistake or else you will have a suspension glitch on your hand and of course we don't want to have that in our vehicles that being said boys and possible girls thank you for watching if you did manage to stick to the end of the video leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought about um, this video if you want to see more about these pros and cons videos these testing of different types of vehicles flyers whatever you want to see let me know and i will see what i can do that being said thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one subscribe